The E5 series Shinkansen of the JR East Company is the primary unit of the Tohoku Shinkansen and the only unit used on the Hokkaido Shinkansen. On the Japanese high-speed network, the E5 and its later H5 derivative provide a vital backbone to the north of the island nation, having been in operation since 2011. The Tohoku Shinkansen gets its name from the Tohoku region, meaning northeast, and covers the entire area north of Tokyo on the mainland of Japan. Covering a distance of 675 kilometers, the Tohoku Shinkansen connects with the Hokkaido Shinkansen in the north and two mini Shinkansen lines, the Yamagata Shinkansen at Utsunomiya and the Akita Shinkansen at Morioka. Major stops along the route include Sendai, Morioka and Hachinoe. There were plans prior to the COVID-19 pandemic to raise the operating speed of the line to 360 km per hour. However, these plans were halted. Running at 320 km per hour or 200 miles per hour, the E5 shares the title of fastest train in Japan with its narrower loading gauge cousin, the E6 Shinkansen of the Yamagata Shinkansen. The Tohoku Shinkansen was initially served by the 200 series Shinkansen. These were derived from the 100 series found on the Tokaido Shinkansen between Tokyo and Osaka. With a top speed of 275 km per hour, these sets were on the cutting edge of technology at their debut in 1980. Come 1999, however, when these sets were due to have their midlife overhaul, the speed dropped to 250 km per hour after it was found that there was considerable structural weakening to the sets from their years of hard work serving the nation. This discovery led to the E2 series of the Joetsu Shinkansen taking up some of the slack on higher speed services and made the message very clear to everyone that a replacement was needed. The mines at Hitachi and Kawasaki got drawing and this led to the Fastex 360, an experimental rail vehicle designed to test the latest high-speed rail technology to provide all the data needed to reach their goal of 360 km per hour. The class E954, named the Fastex 360S, was first out of a stable. Car 1 is based upon the successful design of a 500 series Shinkansen of the South. This design was called the Streamline Profile in testing. This featured a curved, low-hanging, wedge-shaped nose with a pod protruding out holding the cockpit. This design has proved successful with the 500 series, having a top speed of 320 km per hour or 200 miles per hour, although the lines it operates on makes these speeds impractical for service. Car 8, meanwhile, was completely different with what is referred to as the arrow profile, a passenger cabin quickly tapering down to a long low-hanging nose and the cockpit placed in a wedge neatly ahead of this. The design was attempting to combat the phenomenon of sonic booms through tunnels at high speed. Thus came the era of longer and longer noses. These were not the only notable new technologies of the Fastex 360S. The units were lovingly named the Nekomimi Shinkansen or Katia Shinkansen by the public and rail enthusiasts alike, from the rather cat ear shaped air brakes installed onto the end units and leading end of the second car. These were intended to reduce wear on brakes by using drag to slow down the train. Advancements in regenerative braking using the motors made these benefits minimal and the high complexity of the design led to questionable reliability. Another notable design feature that is now commonplace are the bogey fairings. These pieces of aerodynamic trim enclose the wheels of the train, allowing it to be more streamlined and thus more efficient through the air. These devices are now found all over the network, including the N700 series in the south, a single 700 series set is also equipped in the name of design evaluation. The Fastex 360 sets were equipped with a rather striking lime green interior, harking back to the eras of polychromatic nylon. Other more subtle design changes such as car construction techniques were less noticeable. Come 2009, the test program was complete and the H5 design was more or less finished. This led to the end of the Fastex 360. In 2009, the units were scrapped with no examples put into preservation. This unfortunate measure was taken to prevent the technology being cloned for the Chinese high-speed CRH-380. In 2011, we saw what the last three years produced. 
The final design was an elongated version of the Car 8 arrow profile nose. Early morning commuters were stunned to see this new, bright green train, a sleek pink cheat line breaking up the white lower body with a shape never before seen on the rails. The writer of this script put the following in regards to his first time seeing the train. At this point, it had been in service for a decade, so it was far from new, and I'd already known of it, but that did not make it any less impressive. It was a beautiful hybrid of form and function put together. Having only been used to sweaty, low-speed UK commuter services, the H5 felt different. The atmosphere on board was completely new. It felt closer to getting a flight than a train. The doorway was very large, very open inside. The same can be said about the seating. Lots of space to work, legroom previously unheard of, and the best bit of all, a power socket that my universal adapter did not fit in. It had a lip preventing you from plugging in large devices, but by chance also prevented my plug. I think he is still mad about that, but I digress. The train was an instant hit among commuters, though at this time it was only able to run at 300 km per hour, with an abundance of older stock still running and clogging up the line. The final 200 series set went out of the door in 2013, after the world did not end the year prior, and with that, 320 km per hour running was achieved. Though there are many reports of sets running as high as 350 km per hour between Morioka and Sendai when late. The E5 series are equipped with a coupler on the Morioka end, this being the north of the unit to allow coupling with the smaller E6 series. This reduced the amount of separate trains that run each day, freeing up signalling space to run even more services. Upon arriving in Morioka, the E6 detaches and heads off to Yamagata, while the E5 heads north to Amori and now Hakodate. In 2016, the Hokkaido Shinkansen opened. This is an extension north from Amori. This new line passes through the terrain of the region. The service ends its journey in Hokkaido at Shin Hakodate Hokuto. Early on, while the line was under construction, it was noted that the E5 in its current spec would struggle in the deep winters of Hokkaido, and as a result, this led to the H5 Shinkansen spec, the H standing for Hokkaido. The order for these toughened up sets came in 2014, with the first example, set H1, arriving in 2014, with the pink stripe replaced with purple. Unfortunately, the fleet is now three sets, with unit H2 being withdrawn for parts after a derailment in the 2022 Fukushima earthquake. With the Hokkaido Shinkansen extension to Sapporo due to open in 2030, the replacement for the E5 and H5 sets are well under development. This brought us the E956 Advanced Labs for Frontline Activity in Rail Experimentation, or Alpha X for short. This unit in itself is deserving of a video, so we'll only lightly touch upon it. The goal is 350 km per hour running, allowing Tokyo to Sapporo in under four hours. Car 1 of the unit is based upon the existing H5 series aerodynamically, albeit with a 1 meter extension on the nose and the resulting removal of the rear passenger door. The E5 and H5 Shinkansen brought 320 km per hour running to the masses in Japan and ushered in a new age of connectivity, making the whole nation seem smaller. The train has even seen export success, with India purchasing these sets to run their under construction Mumbai to Ahmedabad high speed rail project. Thank you so much for watching, we hope you found this entertaining and informative. Please feel free to like, subscribe and all that good stuff. Take care and I'll see you next time.